Hi, what I want to do is show how to use our Turtle Creek plate loaders for loading magazines that have a slot in the side with some sort of a button. Like here's the Ruger Mark uh, 3 magazine. You can see the button right there. It's really difficult to push it down by your f using your finger and then load the rounds in as such. Here's the Mark 1. Again, the button on the side with the slot. Any of these magazines that have a slot on the side with some sort of a tab or a button, like the uh, Polish P83 or the Makarov IJ70 or a Bulgarian little tab right there, I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, here's the Walther P22, a button with a slot. Any, any magazine that has something that can catch the, uh, the loader, the plate loader. Here's the Bobcat uh, 21, uh, 21A, which is the 22 long rifle. There's just an edge of a screw and the bottom of the screw there. We're going to pick that up with the loading tool. Now first I want to show how we do this. It's just a simple piece of acrylic with a cutout of the shape for the magazine. This one is just a rectangular cutout. Put your two fingers to straddle the opening. Just put the magazine in there and the thumb on the base like that and pull down and load the rounds. And you can see how quickly I can load this using the loading tool. This magazine takes 10 rounds and so we're going to pop these in and then we're quickly going to pop them out. You can see how easily that's done. And when you want to pop them out, they're all in there. You want to pop them out, you just very quickly just kind of jostle it in your fingers. You can pop them all out. And we're done. Okay, so those that is the Ruger Mark I, the Mark II, and the Mark III. Now, um, the Bobcat is a 22. LR also, and it has a different shape. Its shape is specifically designed so that the edges of the screws are picked up. The bobcat's a little tight at the top, and once you fit it on, it's perfect. So again, you just push it down, insert the, the rounds, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. Takes eight rounds and we're done. Pop it up so that we're ready to load in the gun and we're good. So that's that. Now I also want to show the Smith & Wesson Model 41 or also the Target Pistol Smith & Wesson Model 422. Works in exactly the same manner. You simply place the loader right around and the cutout shape for the model 41 and 422 is a little bit different. You can see that we have a, a little tang that's in the loader. You want to put that on the side where we have a little plastic piece above the button. There's a plastic piece above the button. It, won't, it will not work if you switch the um, the loading tool around like that. This tang here has to be located for the plastic button right on this side. So you put it on and pop the rounds in. I believe this magazine also takes 10 and we can quickly load it as well. Now we've been making these plate loaders for about five years. We've sold quite a lot of them. We continually add new models by request. We'll make a custom plate loader for you if you don't see a magazine that we make them for. And there you go. Ten rounds just that fast on the model 41 and 422. Okay, here's also the Walder P22. Uh, again, the slot on the side with a little button so that we can pick the plate loader up right on the side of the uh, the button right on the side.
straddle it between your two fingers, thumb on the base. This one's a really light spring in this magazine. It's easy to load. It's a fun little gun. Very popular. Lots of accessories for the P-22. People love to buy accessories and they like to buy loaders. And there we go. Nine rounds in the P-22. Piece of cake. Now this particular plate loader we can also use, also fits the Polish P83 and the Makarov IJ70 or the Bulgarian version which doesn't, uh, it's kind of generic but everybody knows it's uh, Bulgarian Makarov. Uh, same thing, there's a slot on the side with a very hard to see metal tab, very sharp. So you can imagine as you're trying to load a uh, an IJ-70 or a Polish P-83 using your thumbnail, uh, you're going to be tearing up a thumbnail really fast. So with this plate loader, all the problems go away. So this happens to be a um, a 9x18. So we're going to load in 9x18s very quickly and pop them out after we're done. You can see how easy it is to empty a magazine as well. And you can see that I'm actually not even leveraging anything on the table. I'm just holding it right in my hand, leveraged right against my thumb at the bottom. And it's, it's really easy. Well worth the money, I think. And I think that takes uh, seven rounds. I think some people actually jam eight in, but you shouldn't do that. You should stop right at this point. You can see that there's a, a little grooved out area where this tab will slide in, but a lot of times it gets hung up in there. So I don't really recommend trying to jam it in there. So basically it took seven rounds. Okay, and the other one is the um, the Makarov, this one happens to be uh, the Russian Makarov, which takes, uh, it's chambered for the 380. And this one I'm going to pop out for you. The other one pops out of the magazine quite easily as well. Six, seven, eight. Okay, this one took eight rounds very easily. Okay, and you can see they're all in there, and some people try to, again, they try to force it down to the bottom. I don't do that. I like a little bit of springiness left, and so this is really easy to pop out. You just literally just pop them out, and you're done. The other models we make are for the Sig Mosquito. This is just a replica of the magazine we actually use for Go No Go Gauge. Um, the Beretta Cheetah. The Breda Cheetahs right here. This one is a really tight fit because the the side piece the, the loader picks up on is a screw and the screw end over here. And also the Taurus P22, which is a 22 LR. Same thing, very small little rivet that the loader picks up on. So if you have any magazine that's not one of these but it has a slot and something, a follower that we can pick up on, just contact me and we'll see if we can make something for you.